there, I'm Eitan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. Today I'm going to be talking about the new sections in the Classic Editor. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I've been seeing a lot of bad press about it, uh, especially in the Wix Partner Group on Facebook, um, and just a lot of questions in general about what uh, added value this uh, brings to the Classic Editor. Uh, so just this will be an overview about new sections and what they can do uh, and how they are different than the strips that we used to be working with. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you'll notice that as soon as I create a page, uh, I will have a section on it. So there's no such thing as a page with no sections as opposed to strips, which were optional in the previous version of the editor. And uh, we can add as many sections as we want. Uh, but one thing about the sections is that they don't uh, overlap like strips used to. So if I add another section over here on the bottom, uh, so you'll see that we have some pretty cool pre-made sections. Uh, all of these are different kinds of sections. Uh, and this will kind of make it easier for someone who wants to add a certain section to their website uh, with a certain layout, but wasn't really sure what they want to do. Uh, there might have been something similar in the strips, but I think uh, this looks a lot more robust uh, to me at least. Uh, so let's say I add this welcome section over here. And you'll see that it's added right under my top section, which is blank. Uh, and now that I've added that additional section, I can delete my top section. Uh, but I couldn't delete it before because you have to have at least one section on the page. Uh, and you can adjust the section height just kind of like this on the bottom with this arrow over here. And if we have more than one section, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add yet another section. So I'm going to add this Grow Our Vision section. And one cool thing that you can do here that you couldn't do with the strips is you can use these handy arrows here on the side. And I can just move this section up. And this might remind you a bit of the mobile editor, uh, where previously strips could be moved around like that. And this is pretty handy. Um, yeah, so as I said, these strips cannot overlap. So no matter how I try and drag this, uh, sorry, these sections cannot overlap. So no matter how I try and drag these sections around, uh, I can't put one on top of the other, as opposed to strips, which I could. Uh, and you can still add strips even with the section. So if you go over here, you'll see you still have strips. I can grab a strip uh, and just add it to one of the specific sections. So let's make this strip, um, I should do that from the bottom. So I'm gonna make this strip a little shorter and then I'm going to go ahead and add another strip. Uh, let's add this black strip up here. And you'll see that these strips can be overlapped. So if I drag here, I have my white strip and my black strip, but I can drag this black strip and kind of place it on top of the white strip. Uh, but with sections, that's not possible at all. Uh, and if you need things to overlap, you can still add the strips in, which is kind of an advantage because actually in Editor X, uh, we don't have strips. We only have the sections option and you need to use boxes instead of strips. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about sections. So another thing we have here on the side is the quick edit for the sections. And this is a new feature that came in with the sections and it kind of lets us have a very general overview of the sections and edit everything inside the section in one handy place. So I can change this welcome to you're here and it changes. Okay, and I don't need to go into each individual thing. Uh, so this is pretty handy and this is something that came in with the sections. I don't know if this is the reason that they created the sections or not, but it seems to be related somehow. Uh, so that's pretty cool and yeah, so except for that, you can change section background just like you could change a strip background. And that's pretty much the difference between the strips and the sections. Uh, I know it annoys some people that like when you click on the section, so it's kind of highlighted with this annoying purplish color. Uh, but once you click on a certain element inside of it, then it already goes away. So that's 
solves that. Uh, one more cool thing that I'll point out is that with sections, uh, they actually also act as anchors. So for example, let's say I add another section here on the bottom, which I accidentally deleted. So I'm gonna add back my grow your vision section. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a link from this button so that it links to a specific section or anchor, okay? And I can link, link it like, for example, to a section and section intro. And then if I go ahead and I preview, then you'll see when I click, let's get rid of this. When I click the start now button, it'll go down to grow your vision as if I had put an anchor over here right above the grow your vision section. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, an overview about sections. They have some upsides and downsides. Uh, I definitely understand that it might be pretty annoying if your previous website did not have sections and then they threw in sections there and it kind of screwed up your whole website. So that's probably pretty annoying. Uh, but if you're starting a website from scratch, I have to say this is actually quite a nice uh, addition. It kind of helps keep everything a little more organized, makes it a little easier to move around different sections of the website, link between different things. You have the quick edit feature. Uh, so I don't really see the downsides here so much, um, but I'm very curious to hear about your experience. So do leave comments below. Uh, and if you have any more questions about sections, uh, as always, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.